And, um, and here you see hacked by Moroccan agent secret. Israel is a terrorist country. The White House is an Jewish re Another website is hacked, and this time it's Missoula's Western Montana Clinic. Good evening, everyone. I'm Laurel Staples. And I'm Steve Fetvite. Uh, we've learned the clinic's website has now been down since Saturday. The, uh, our NBC Montana's Andrea Olson talked with the clinic's chief executive today. She joins us live now in the studio with more. Andrea? Steve, this comes shortly after a hack left a Butte Credit Union's website with an ISIS flag on the front page. The credit union says no accounts were compromised, but now Western Montana Clinic patients are calling and they're concerned about their personal information. When you type in the words Western Montana Clinic, you get this. A page that says forbidden. You don't have permission to access this server. It surprises me because it's never happened. She was notified about the website hack Saturday night. This is what the site normally looks like, but a simple mouse click won't lead you there anymore. Safford took immediate action, taking the website down with the help from her technical team. There is a picture Terry's at the bottom. And here you see hacked by Moroccan agent secret. Israel is a terrorist country. The White House is an Jewish red house. Somehow we are more vulnerable than we thought we were. Residents I spoke with downtown are concerned about the number of compromised websites lately. And it shouldn't be taken lightly. Others didn't seem too worried. I could see it as a threat because, you know, our state has other enemies. I don't think that any part of like an Israeli a terrorist organization would have anything to do or even know where, you know, Montana is on a map. The website has to be completely rebuilt. Her team will be tracking the extent of the hack, where the hacker went, what they did, and how they got in. As far as patient concerns, she says no personal information was exposed. However, the clinic is looking at how the site processes bill payments. If you use the site about a breach of the Western Montana Clinic's online payment system. The hacker accessed patient names and addresses, telephone numbers, email addresses, credit card transaction information, and the last four digits of their credit card. Forty-four patients had their full credit card information hacked. The clinic is offering those patients free credit monitoring for a year. We talked to the security expert who tells us people affected by the hack should be checking their credit card statements and report unusual transactions. NBC Montana's Lauren Bradley talked to a security expert about the breach, and she files this report. Sherry Davidoff is the CEO of LMG Security. She's a cybersecurity expert. She knows how hackers work. Attackers are constantly finding new vulnerabilities in software. It's an arms race, attack and defense. Davidoff says security breaches happen all the time, especially sites with an e-commerce component. She says those people affected by the hack should follow up with their bank. It's, it's a good idea to talk to your bank and find out what fraud protection measures they have in place, if there are any security measures that you can take advantage of. And she says victims should constantly check their credit card statements for unfamiliar and unusual transactions. And this might include little charges like a dollar or two dollars because sometimes attackers will use those as tests to see if your card works. So even if you notice a tiny little thing, make sure that you bring that to the attention of your bank right away. But Davidoff says victims shouldn't be too worried. It's rare for people to lose money and to not get it back. We have a lot of fraud protection measures in place in our banking system. Whereas medical information, once it's out there, it's out there. And it's a good thing that we're not dealing with that in this case. Reporting in Missoula, Lauren Bradley, NBC Montana. The clinic doesn't have a bill pay feature on their website. They are looking to restore that feature with more security measures.